सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम दिस इज जी एम डी एस एस सीरीज पार्ट टू वीडियो सो ऑन जी एम डी एस एस इक्विपमेंट देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ टेस्ट विच आर डन फर्स्ट इज डेली सेकेंड इज वीकली थर्ड इज मंथली एंड देन ईयरली द ईयरली टेस्ट इज डन बाई शोर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू डू डेली टेस्ट देन एंट्रीज इन टू जी एम डी एस एस लॉक बुक एंड लास्टली वॉट आर द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर डेली टेस्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो इन डेली टेस्ट वी आर गोइंग टू चेक फॉलोइंग थिंग्स एम एफ एच एफ वी एच एफ जी एम डी एस एस बैटरीज प्रिंटर सेट सी एंड नेप टेक्सटेशन सो फर्स्ट आई विल स्टार्ट विद एम एफ एच सो दैट्स माई एम एफ एच एफ इक्विपमेंट सो टू डू द डेली टेस्ट हियर आई टू प्रेस टेस्ट बटन वंस आई प्रेस दैट यू कैन सी देर आर टू ऑप्शन डेली एंड सेल्फ चेक सो आई फर्स्ट डू दी डेली टेस्ट आई प्रेस एंटर Once I have done this, it is going to take its own time to do the internal checks and verify everything is okay. Once everything is okay, it will be also printed on the MFHF printer. So now my test has passed, and it has also printed out on my MFHF printer, which I will file it later on. So now again I'll press test, go to self check. I will do this self check also. Now please note that it is not necessary that all MFHF equipment will have printer. If they do not have printer. the records will be kept saved in mfhf equipment itself so this my test is done i'll click cancel so my daily test is done i have uh, this is self check and this was daily test i will print this out so i will file it afterwards i will file it afterwards let's go and check the other test So now VHF we will test. So there are two types of test for daily. First is this one. I'll press Shift and test. So this is daily test. It has done its transmission, receiver, CPU, IC. All tests are done. Now there is another test on VHF where we have to send DSC message from VHF one to VHF two. and vice versa now there are some people who do this test weekly basis and other who do this test on daily basis i normally do this test on daily basis now to do this test press call button then press enter and select ship's call because we'll be sending to another vhf on ship so that's ship's id the ship's id is your ship's mms id i will enter that and then once everything is set I will press enter, enter, enter. Select the channel. Press call. Keep it pressed for three seconds. As it says. And now you can wait. Now you can see on my other VHF that call has been received. I'll put cancel alarm, and you can see there is a alert received from the my first VHF. So that's how I'll do. Press enter. Same thing I'll do on this VHF also. Press shift test. It will do its internal. daily test is done enter ship call enter 5380034814 so this is my ship's id routine okay so everything is set come over here press call keep it pressed and it will send a message to my other vhf individual request so this is the internal test for both so we have done the daily test now other thing which we have to check in daily test is that both of if you have two printer or three printer depending upon your ship all of your printer must be online as you can see printer power is on it is online printer power is on it is online online means if some some message comes it will be directly printed into the printer second thing is the quantity of paper that paper uh, sufficient amount of paper is there on both the printers so that's what we write in the gmds is logbook also all my printers are online and all of them are having sufficient papers so this this must be checked after checking this in sat see there is nothing uh, daily test but just uh, what you have to check is your Indian Ocean region basically your network coordination center is selected any ocean region is selected and your satellite is logged in it is not logged out there is no alarm or error on the sets this is what you just have to check daily so 
now my satellite is selected indian ocean region i am uh, presently in, over here in mediterranean sea so this is my satellite ior that's my satellite so it has selected that satellite next thing what you have to check is in navtex there is no test but you just have to check that whether you have selected the right navtex station so the navtex so uh, same thing your ship specific navtex might have a different setting so here i'm just checking receiver mast press enter so this is the station i have selected so i will write it down in my gmdc logo also which station i have selected so you must uh, check that daily that the right station is selected this is there and lastly what we have to check is gmds's battery on load and off load test so as you can see present presently over here my battery charging is on auto my gmds's battery are being charged automatically so normally below your gmds station you will have your uh, battery charging buttons so i will keep it open so before doing the test first check what is your voltage so now as you can see the my voltage is 25 volts so this is on this is off load off load means when when my battery is not on load okay that uh, the supply is directly coming from ship supply so that is 25 25 volts now this is switch off breaker to take gmds station on battery load i will switch it off you can see there is a sound coming in use means the battery is being in used i will put the other stop so as you can see suddenly when i uh, switch from uh, main supply to battery supply my voltage has dropped so once our gmds's batteries are on load then what we have to do is we have to switch to ssb mode on our mfhf equipment that is radio telephony mode on our mfhf equipment once we are on ssb mode what i will do is i'll press this ptt and i'll make a transmission basically what we are doing is we are doing a transmission so i'm pressing this i'm making a transmission and you can see the voltage is dropping here you can see before it was 25 now it is 24 volt so basically the requirement is your battery shall uh, the voltage shall not drop more than 10% so if you it is 25 before it was 25 so before, uh, it should not fall more than 2.5 if it would have fallen below 22.5 then it would have been fail so depending on uh, offload if you how much is your battery percentage it shall not fall more than 10% so it is 24 it is good now i will switch it back to my ship supply so my ship supply is in been used my battery this light is off that's it and now you can see once i have uh, once i have switched to ship supply my voltage is coming back normally to 25 you can see it will be on 25 so this is what is my daily test that's it then i'll make an entry in my gmds's logbook for daily test now there are two types basically if you print over here some people would like to file in the records as you can see there is a gmds's record some people would like to file the records in this your daily you can see they have made daily section so whatever test they are doing it daily they are filing it over here monthly monthly also they are filing inside uh, the file and same thing distress urgency safety message six monthly so whatever test they are doing they are filing it in the gmds's record so it depend upon uh, it's a personal choice what i would personally believe is to file the records inside my gmds logbook my daily monthly weekly whatever it is i normally file it uh, within the gmds record i do not file on a separate log or a separate file so this is my daily test i will tear this out put a stapler over here and uh, staple it with this page that's it so just just to show you that i am not stapling both the pages there are two pages i'm just stapling it with the carbon page So this is my carbon page. Make sure you step in with your carbon page. So I will write down over here MFHF daily test and sign over here. That's it. As I told earlier, that 
all MFHF equipments do not have printer. So if your equipment have a printer, you will have this. Otherwise, some equipments you don't have a printer. Now this is my daily entry over here. You can write down the UTC time. What time you have done this? Zero seven one zero. Station here. Write daily test. So here I have uh, done the record that when my GMDS's batteries were on load, that time it was 24 volts, and when it was off load, I have uh, mentioned 25 volts. So GMDS's battery is done. MFHF, both VHF, internal test done. Internal test means without transmitting the power outside. So this is what internal test means. Internal test done. Then all GMDSS printer online. Sufficient paper in all GMDSS printer. As I was showing you earlier, my satellite was SATC was using Indian Ocean Region satellite. My Navtech station, I will write over here Navtech. L was selected. If any other station is selected, you can write that. In which nav area you are in? Nav area 3. So this all things must be also written and one more thing is your position and what position. So I will write down my uh, latitude and longitude over here only then from my GPS. So that's it. Once you are done with your test, always make sure to sign in the end. So the next thing is we are going to talk about the requirements. So you can see this is the screenshot from Sire. Now this is what they want you to write in your GMDS logbook, but this is not sufficient. So if you'll refer to your GMDS logbook, this is the most commonly used logbook for GMDS. In this, they have mentioned what are tests you must do daily. You can check over your DSC test, batteries must be checked and printers must be checked. But this is also not sufficient. So I have found out in this logbook, this is a new logbook which I have found out. In this, they have mentioned in much more detail, I would believe. So I'm uh, doing this test as per this logbook and making entry as per this logbook. So you can take this screenshot as you like. That's all for today. Thank you.